9.30 in the morning and it's 82 degrees. It's supposed to get to 111 degrees here today. So it's a good thing we're leaving. We're off to uh, New Mexico. It's time to begin. I feel it in my skin. This change in the wind telling me to live again. There's a world full of wonder. I've never seen before I'm staring out an open door I don't want this anymore It's time to be free Time to believe I got my plan apart But the rest is up to me And I know it won't be easy But it needs to be done You never know what's just around the bend This ain't where my story ends I always said I'd see the West Coast I'll pack my bags and leave tomorrow I don't want my life to be an echo If I don't go, I'll never know It's time to let go Okay, we had to make a stop here on Route 66. We are actually standing on the mother road right now. That's it. We're in the city of Adrian, Texas. Population 866. And that's what the temperature feels like. Alright, here we are. This is the halfway point between Chicago and Santa Monica on Route 66. Next up on Tucum Carry is the Roadrunner Lodge. The number one roadside motel from USA Today is the Roadrunner Lodge. So if you're in Tucum Carry, New Mexico, make sure you stop in, get yourself a room for a night or two, and get out of the 102 degree weather. Okay, Maddie and I are going down to the Blue Swallow. Look at these old uh, Conoco pumps. Man, don't you wish the gas was only 40 cents? That'd be awesome. That's what you call a dessert hotel. Look at that. It's the most photographed neon sign in the world. On Route 66. Look at this Hudson. Wow. It's close to get. Look at these old motor lodges. You see, back in when Route 66 in its heyday, you used to be able to park your car in a garage and then you'd stay in a room for the night. So this is like one of the only few places in Tucum Carry that still has the motor lodges. See when people we would drive down Route 66 in the 40s and 50s, you used to be able to pull in your car in here. That is super cool. What do you think of Route 66? It's hot. Well besides it being hot. Let's go uh, get a picture real quick. This used to be a gas station and then in the 60s they uh, tore out the gas pumps and put in a teepee and turned it into a curio shop. They increased Route 66 here, they increased it to four lanes. So they had to get rid of the, the gas pumps and then they put in the teepee curios. And this right here was the garage to go get your oil changed. Okay. So, we're in New Mexico. It was hot in Amarillo, and it was hot in Tucumcari. It was 106 degrees, 108. And uh, we're in somewhere in New Mexico. I'm not gonna say where, because I don't wanna disparage where we were. Um, so we stayed at a RV park. And there was a, um, a cantina, let's say, next door. And the cantina, or a brewery, or a bar, or whatever, um, they, they have some pizzas. We ordered we ordered three pizzas and then uh, they lost our order. So you know, it wasn't a big deal, but my God, if you've ever seen Star Wars, 
and the Moss Isley Cantina. I believe that's where I was. Um, I believe somebody told me they had the death sentence on uh, four systems. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, if I had a lightsaber, I would have cut some guy's arm off. I don't know. That place was sketch. Um, the alley was like from Breaking Bad. Uh, I, I think Walter White may have uh, done a meth deal in there. Say my name. I don't know. But, <laughs> yeah. The food was really good. The staff was very apologetic for uh, losing our order. Um, and the band was really good. So, it was just the, the atmosphere just just wasn't wasn't for us. So, it was the Moss Isley Cantina of New Mexico. So, if you're ever in New Mexico and you find yourself in a Moss Isley Cantina, we were probably in the same place. We finally made it to Mesa Verde National Park. We're about to go into the visitor center. figure out where we get the, the stamp for our National Park book. Did you see the collar and the lizard outside? Uh -uh. Oh, he walked right by him. Oh, this is for Mesa Verde. <laughs> cool. This one's pretty though too, I like it. That sure. one's pretty cool. What are you gonna name your bear? Pablo. They would heat the heat rocks up and then drop them into baskets to boil the water. Princess Leia. Oh wait. So that's how they would collect water. Is that how they got water? Yep. They used to live here a long, long time ago. In the galaxy far, far away. Oh, there's a climbing child. See, even back in ancient times, you couldn't keep the kids off the rocks. Okay, just left the visitor center. It's time to explore the park. Let's see if the call of Blizzard's still there. Yeah. Well, he was hanging out right here, but I think he took off. There he is. Look at him. Mesa top site. It's a pit house. Mesa pit house. Pit house. So that was the pit house. It uh, dated back to 600 AD. Okay, so we're at Sun Point Pueblo in Mesa Verde, and this one is 1200 AD. So we're gonna check out this this giant hole in the ground that ancient people used to live in. So let's take it out. Yeah. So, that used to be a big tall tower, apparently. So this is what it would have looked like. So this is the tower here, and there would have been these structures all around it. And then that's the pit. See the ladder that goes down? And then it would have connected into this tower here. It's pretty cool, huh? Wow. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like heights. Wow, 
also this was a public place that was called Fire Temple. This was a uh, highly formalized plaza. Public architecture that may have served as a dance plaza or a great kiva. Unlike roofed kivas, plaza activities were more publicly visible. As you can see, there's ancient scaffolding. It was almost like a, a town square. Why did I say it like that? It was almost like there was a town square. What do you got out? Some watercolor stuff. What are you gonna paint? I think I'm gonna play um, Pink Cliff Palace. When we sit and relax at night, we like to listen to A Bomb Radio. And I like to. If you play it. Fallout and you like the music of Fallout, it's basically what it is it's music from the vault. Okay, let's see it. Before you go out of focus. Cliff Palace. Original watercolor by Michelle.